Stevenson gets the 76-51 win over Goucher here tonight. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, this is a team that I think um, expected that, that you would have a performance like this, that you would win. So from a self-evaluation, what you wanted to do tonight, what were you happy with? What were you unhappy with? Well, we wanted to rebound the ball, and we got 19 offensive rebounds. Uh, we would have liked to have gotten a little bit more separation, uh, 42 to 33, I think it was, in the final count. Uh, but that was an emphasis of ours going in. Um, I thought we fouled too much. Uh, we just were kind of a step slow the whole night um, defensively. We didn't get to the help line. Um, and I didn't think, again, we guarded the ball very well. Um, these, this is a tough team to play. Uh, they run good motion. and. And um, uh, they're, they're hard to guard. Um, so if you don't do it right, they're going to capitalize on it. And, and they did tonight uh, in some areas. And I thought we shot way too many threes. Um, we, uh, you know, we're, we're a team that uh, believes in um, uh, inside-out play. Yeah. We didn't have a lot of inside uh, uh, or consistently. We got the ball down to Mark, and, and he did a good job and finished down there. But, um, but we've got to either put the ball um, with the dribble into the interior, we've got to pass it down in the low block. But the ball's got to go down, and we got to play inside and out. And, and we had too many possessions or windshield wiper uh, threes tonight. Saw you go with the line change um, early in the first half where you brought all five guys off the bench. Can you tell me if that was something unique for tonight or something that you think – you know, could be part of what you do is I know you want to play up tempo all season. No, the, the game um, kind of dictated that uh, we, we usually sub at a certain time, but um, because of the um, pace of the game, we kept uh, a couple guys in there a little bit longer, and uh, that necessitated us getting everybody out at the same time. <laughs> but but we, we normally um, have a rotation that we stick to. I don't know if you've ever been involved in a game that had as few timeouts as tonight, I think the clock stopped twice, like the entire night. Well, Christmas is coming. A lot of people haven't finished their Christmas <laughs> shopping yet, so, so we've got to get uh, some folks on the road. So we thought we would keep it going. With that in mind, you got another little break here before the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Classic next weekend. What's your message to the team, knowing they're going to be spending some time, friends, family, and um, you want to make sure that they're focused and ready to go coming out of the break? Well, uh, going into this game, um, we, we felt like uh, – uh, obviously, uh, any game that you play is an important game, but uh, uh, win tonight, and we have as many wins as anybody in the state of Maryland in Division Three. So that was important for us to, to get back up to where we expect to be. And, um, and the guys understand that with each game comes uh, a new challenge, and uh, um, I'm confident that uh, we will uh, get that message across to them how important uh, Medgar Evers is and, uh, on the 29th. And uh, good, good ball club. We got our hands full. So, so they'll have our attention, and I think we'll be prepared. Well, Coach, we appreciate it. Congratulations on the victory. Have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you for the Classic. And thank you, and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody out there as well. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.